Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create audio spectrum video with Olive Filmora 11. Okay, so let's go. All right, so it's interesting, right? But first thing first, if you want to have this effect, the audio spectrum effect, you need to use the latest version of the software, uh, which is Filmora 11.3.1.7 or 11.3. So I will put the link in the description for you to download and reinstall the software so that you can get the latest version of the software, okay? And for those of you who want to purchase Filmora Lifetime License, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code, which is in the description also. Okay, all right, so now I'm inside Filmora 11 and this is my example timeline. So first thing first, we have uh, we should have a music file here and also I have a background here. So this is the element that I use in Filmora 11. I just loop the elements, uh, which is a retro green screen background elements. Uh, and here I have an image of me with the image mask so I can create a circle around my face. And here we have some effect. Uh, this one, the first one, uh, this is a circle. Uh, in iridescent circle number five. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly or not. And this is the Y digital wave number one. Uh, and this one, this one at the bottom of the screen. Okay, and on top, I have a title, just a simple title showing you about the audio spectrum. Okay, so let's delete everything first. And the first thing you want to have a music file on your computer and import it to Filmora. Okay, so go to your media and then you can import your music file right here. By the way, I'm going to use this one, the Kurt Chill. Yeah, I, know, I don't know the name is correctly or not. I will put it on the timeline uh, by pressing this button. Okay, and it's, it is now on the timeline. Let's play it. And the next one is the background okay so i'm going to go to my elements folder and i have this one the retro green screen element here just drag and drop it onto the timeline and then we need to create a loop looping effect for the element so all i need to do is to select it on the timeline and then right click and select copy and now i want to paste it right here so i'm going to press ctrl v to paste just paste 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 okay and now I want to uh, close the gap right here. So now we have a background and let's play first. Okay, so just skip it. Okay, so I'm going to shorten the music file also. And shorten it maybe something like this. So it is it is about uh, one minute, but maybe it is too long. I'm going to split it to about 20 seconds so that you can see it. Okay, so split this one and this one also. And now I'm going to delete this one. And press this button to view everything on the timeline. So the next thing, you want to have an image. Maybe I use image of me, but you can use any image, anything. Okay, it's up to you. So I go back to my media. And now I'm going to drag and drop this image onto the timeline. And also I will extend it to the end of the video. And the next thing, I want to add an image mask so that it will have a circle around my face. Okay, to do that, we can just select the image and then we go to the effect tab right here. And then uh, at the recommended folder, we can search for the image mask. Enter. And now I have it, this image mask, so I'm going to drag and drop it directly to my image on the timeline and now I want to customize the mask so I'm going to double click at the image select the effect tab right here and then adjust the width okay and the height and the position mm, maybe something like this and move this up a little bit okay and let's click okay and now i want to scale it down a little bit so i'm going to select the mask here and then i'm going to scale it down 
and put it at the center of the background okay so we finished with the image right here by the way i'm going to adjust the blur of the the edge here just double click again go to the effect and then adjust the filter okay increase the filter to something like this all right and the next thing we want to add audio spectrum effect so uh, we can go to the effect tab and then select the this one the audio visualizer okay so now we have 25 different templates or audio visualizer in Filmora 11.3 and it is very interesting there's many there are many templates right here you can select anything okay so the first one i'm going to use this one the iri Disson circle number five uh, if it is not downloaded to your computer you can just double click to download it for example you want you can just double click to download this one and double click to preview it also okay something like this by the way we are going to drag and drop this effect on above the video track okay so i'm going to use this one and just drag and drop it above my video track to create an effect like this and the next thing you want to customize this audio visualizer right and you want to just double click at the visualizer and this is the effect setting where you can just play around to get the effect that you want for example uh, at this one for the color i can add more color just select here or just click here to to add more color to uh, to the circle okay and we can just double click uh, at this dot to change the color for example i can select more green and then we can see select okay and we can also move this dot to yeah something here to create different effect for our visualizer okay and you can also adjust the circle to make it bigger or smaller for example i can just make it a little bit smaller so that it can fit with my image here and i can also adjust the position position of the the circle okay and for the x position i'm going to make it right here and increase the radius a little bit more and move it to the side okay and move up a little bit more okay i think it's okay for me by the way you have to to adjust it or desire it uh, like the way you want okay and let's just click okay and the next thing we want to extend the effect to the end of the video okay so it's something like this and this is the first effect okay so we can add another one at the bottom of the video okay so we're going to use this one the Y digital something okay just drag and drop it and put it on the timeline uh, this is the name the Y digital weight number one okay so it will be here and then we want to adjust it and move it to here down at the bottom of the video so we need to double click uh, at the at the effect again and then adjust the Y position okay just move it to here and maybe if you want you can also increase the intensity to make it higher okay and then if you want to change the color for, for example this is the white one and you want to change it to green you can select this button okay and then select more and then you want to select green then click ok and then you want to extend the duration to the end of the video also okay very nice and this is the audio spectrum effect that we have just created with Fimura 11. Super cool, right? And now if you want to add some text to the video, you can just uh, click OK. And then you want to go back to the title. And then I'm going to select this one, the word art uh, folder. And we can select any template right here. For example, the art title number 10 and just drag and drop it onto the timeline and now we want to double click at the text to change it to audio spectrum 
Okay, and we want to move it to here. And then we can click OK. And we want to extend the duration of the title to the end of the video also. Okay, so just pause the tutorial for one second. I just want to let you know that I have integrated the buy me a coffee button on my YouTube channel. So this button will be useful for those of you who want to support this channel and you want to invite me a cup of coffee. You know, for example, this is my YouTube homepage and, and you will see this button, buy me a coffee. And if you want, you can just click here uh, and here in this page, you can decide how many cup of coffee you want to, uh, to invite me. And then you can say something here. I will you know, check this message and maybe next time when I make video, I will uh, shout out your channel or your name also. Okay, so let's go back to the tutorial. Okay, let's play it. So that is how to create it, an audio spectrum video with only Filmora 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you like the tutorial, hit the like button and if you want to to know anything about this software, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.